This American comedian has had enough of woke culture, and he is destroying them. He doesn't miss a chance to humiliate them, and as you might guess, woke Hollywood is very angry. Problem with communism, and with some very recent ideologies here at home, is that they think you can change reality by screaming at it, that you can bend human nature by holding your breath, but that's the difference between reality and your mommy. Bill Maher, comedian, political commentator, and a man known for calling it like he sees it. His recent critiques of the progressive left and woke culture have put him at odds with Hollywood elites. Bill once said that, the whole point of his show is that they're going to talk about what others won't. They're going to say what others are afraid to say. And he did stand on his words because he has been tearing the woke ideologies that have recently been taking over the mainstream entertainment and politics. Bill Maher's brand of liberalism was grounded in the idea that open conversation, even controversial conversation, was essential for a healthy democracy when it comes to gender. A very sensitive topic to woke culture in Hollywood, listen to what Bill says. In America today, that human is no longer born male or female. <laughs> and obesity is not something that affects health. You can be healthy at any size. Really, we voted on it. Woke culture says that gender is something that can change to whatever you feel like at any time. Woke people say that you can also choose not to identify with any gender. In recent years, the conversation around gender has evolved beyond the traditional binaries, and Maher has grown increasingly skeptical of some of the more extreme positions embraced by Hollywood and progressive activists. He's also been particularly outspoken about the growing trend of children undergoing medical transitions at an early age, a topic that has gained attention in the media. This is what Bill Mayer had to say about the controversy of transgenders in sports. A formerly serious magazine last year published with a straight face an article called Separating Sports by Sex Doesn't Make Sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> because again, we haven't reinvented Homo sapiens since Crystal Pepsi came out. Bill talks about how hard it is to have conversations or debates with woke people because they always think that they are right and everyone should obey them. Meanwhile, they don't rely on facts, but feelings. But in today's world, truth conflicts with narrative. It's the truth that has to apologize. Being woke is like a magic moral time machine where you judge everybody against what you imagine you would have done in 1066 and you always win. Tell us in the comments whether you have had to debate facts against feelings. You see, the topic of woke culture is incredibly controversial. When discussing with woke people, it's like walking on thin ice where anything can be offensive. Bill was on The View, and when he mentioned the term woke, hosts of the show immediately got triggered. Look at how it happened. The term woke has been, in my view, co-opted by the right and weaponized and bastardized. And um, so I was surprised to hear you use the term. Historically, as you know, because I think you're quite brilliant, that woke is a word used by the black community to note that we must be aware of social injustices. But she is not wrong about the origins of the term woke. You see, the term woke originally referred to being awake to social justice issues, particularly those related to race, gender, and inequality. Over time, however, the term has expanded to encompass a much broader set of progressive beliefs, including environmental activism, gay rights, feminism, and economic justice. We will see how Bill destroys the woke economic justice in the video. But then, as of today, wokeness has become a form of moral superiority and authoritarianism. Look at how Bill answered her. Why is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, and, and originally that was uh, absolutely a great thing. Alert to injustice, who's not for that? But words do migrate. Now, I'll use any term you want, okay. because maybe that is a word that's triggering, and so we let's not use that word. I don't know. Want to call it the, the super far left? Tensions were so high on that panel that Bill had to carefully choose his words as opposed to how he talks on his show so as to avoid more arguments. As woke culture has gained steam, so too has the phenomenon of woke capitalism. Corporations, eager to align themselves with the progressive movement, have adopted slogans, campaigns, and marketing strategies that appear to champion social justice causes. But Bill has pointed out that many of these efforts are more about profits than principles. In his eyes, woke capitalism is nothing more than a cynical attempt by big business to capitalize on cultural trends while avoiding scrutiny for their own unethical practices. Big Brother says that having no opinion is not an option anymore. You must participate in this online circle jerk or you'll be... <laughs> or you will be seen as an insensitive prick who's single-handedly obstructing much-needed progress in the world. Did you post a black square? No? Well, that's why there's still racism. Bill Maher has called out apparel companies, 
which have championed social justice issues in their advertising while facing accusations of labor exploitation abroad. Similarly, brands like Amazon have launched diversity and inclusion campaigns, but continue to be criticized for their treatment of workers and their environmental impact. For Bill, this kind of corporate virtue signaling is not only hypocritical, it's harmful because it gives the illusion of progress without addressing real issues. Look at how he destroyed companies that push agendas that don't relate with the products they sell. And why did I ever need to know that Chick-fil-A is chicken? That's Christian. Can it just be chicken? This is unsustainable. It's unsustainable. <laughs> to politicize everything means we're always fighting because we don't all agree and never will. And most people don't want to be forced to say anything. Bill Maher did not forget to talk about how woke people claim to love the environment, but still enjoy activities that harm the environment. Many woke people will swear that they live every day doing positive things that are great for the environment while still buying fast fashion from Sheen and throwing them away after wearing outfits once. Someone must tell her, you may be the conscience of your generation, but you don't represent it. I really wish you did, Greta, but you don't. But I can show you who does. Greta, you have 13 million followers on Instagram, which is great. But Kylie Jenner has 279 million. I mean, seriously, who is the real influencer in that generation? That comparison proved what the woke people, who are mostly young, actually care about. It's funny to watch the glaring contradictions between the environmental activism championed by Hollywood and the lavish, wasteful lifestyles of many of its stars. Greta gets where she's going on a sailboat powered by the wind. Kylie takes a private jet powered by Exxon. <laughs> and she's 21 times more popular. You can't tell me you care about the planet when you're flying in a private jet, driving a luxury SUV, and wearing clothes made by exploited workers in polluting factories. Many celebrities who champion environmental causes are, in Bill's view, complicit in this hypocrisy. They'll walk the red carpet in designer clothes, fly on private jets to climate summits, and live in massive mansions that consume more energy in a month than most households do in a year. In polls, young people always claim to be more concerned about climate change than other generations, but they don't act like it. You say you love Greta and her message, but everything else you love is a climate disaster. Woke culture talks only of perfection, but their actions do not match what they say they value. For Bill, this kind of performative activism does more harm than good because it sends the message that you can talk the talk without walking the walk. Real environmentalism is hard. It means making sacrifices. But what we're seeing now is people pretending to care because it's trendy, while still living in a way that's destroying the planet. Same thing my generation said. Let them handle it in the future. I'll get mine now. Like Bitcoin, the smartphone is a huge contributor to carbon emissions because the cloud isn't <laughs> an actual cloud, of course. It's a vast network of servers using energy and all that liking and following and subscribing requires lots of fossil fuels. And yet you would need the jaws of life to pry a phone out of the hands of anyone under 30. The hypocrisy is of biblical levels. And as Bill Mayer has said, this generation of woke people is talking about the consequences, but pushing responsibility of real change to the next generation. They have perfected practice of using environmental activism as a branding tool while continuing to engage in wasteful, harmful behavior. Listen to how Bill lays the painful truth to woke people on his show. I know it would be fire uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> to be able to both live like Kylie and also save the planet, but you can't do both. Choosing to wear clothes that don't have plastic and only using natural sources of energy or other ways of preserving the environment is not something that we can hope to see any woke person doing now or in a few decades to come. Look at the example that Bill shared on how far environmental care goes for this generation. Kylie too was moved by the disaster and tweeted about how the loss of animal life breaks her heart. Then she quickly followed up with a post of her new $1,500 Louis Vuitton mink slippers. It's always so sad when fire kills potential slippers. And it is not just Kylie. Many woke people will just tweet, share an Instagram story, or comment on Reddit about a social justice cause, and immediately look at the latest things celebrities have bought so they can buy it too. It's more about looking good and being seen as caring, rather than actually making the difficult lifestyle changes necessary for real impact. 
When Kylie's lifestyle becomes uncool and unpopular, and you stop loving Bitcoin and stop thinking that stuffing your face is harmless, I'll take you seriously. Until then, shut the fuck up about how older generations ruin the planet.